De enige echte Baywatch babe, Erika Eleniak, is hier in Nederland in Goorle om haar favoriete kapper John Beres een bezoekje te brengen. John Beres was jarenlang verantwoordelijk voor de mooie blonde lokken van Erika. En nu is ze hier voor een touch-up. So nice to meet you. Welcome to the Netherlands in Goorle. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to be here. And I heard you just did the cover of Playboy. Um, just, no, we just shot, uh, we did an, an interview for Dutch Playboy this morning, but yeah, we didn't shoot the cover. Not no, I think that what they said is I was on a cover here in like 19, I don't know what year it was. <laughs> and, and so, yeah, they were referring to that. Okay. Yeah. Well, congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. Thank you. And what is it about the way that John Burns does your hair? You know what, it's funny, he literally just tweaked it for this picture and it's yeah. completely different. Yeah, I don't know, he has the magic touch, I can't explain it. <laughs> it looks great. Thank you. Do you have any sightseeing planned while you're in the Netherlands? No time, I wish, I really wish, yeah, I would love to be able to do that. I was just saying that to someone, I want to I wanna play tourists and see the tulips, and <laughs> you know, but no, this is a crazy whirlwind PR trip. My, uh, the company that I work with, Hollywood Productions, keeps me very busy, so I got off the plane yesterday, one o'clock, oh, wow. hit the ground running, just photo shoots and a lot of different things. I'm very grateful, but lots of busyness. Next time, hopefully. Yeah, next time for sure. Okay. Um, you were on Baywatch, mm -hmm. and your figure was always so beautiful and toned. Can you give us some secrets on how you stay your body so fit? You know, I wish there was a secret, because I certainly had searched for any tricks, and you know, all, uh, the bottom line is there really isn't any. It no. comes down to three things. Always at the same time, simultaneously, you have to drink a lot of water, mm -hmm. you have to exercise, and you have to eat well. <laughs> That's the bottom line. You know, I mean, we all try to finagle, or you know, you try to maybe do more of one, and then I was, I'm eating so well that I don't have to work out as much, or I'm working out like crazy so I can eat whatever I want. It, this never ever works. So you know, you have to take care of yourself. You have to do it all at once, and um, and that's really it. It's the same for everybody. Yes. It really is It's so true. Yeah. Do you have any exciting TV projects coming up? Well, I do have something that I'm working on um, getting together in development, hopefully. So I just got my wedding and event planning certification. Wow. And I am now an ordained minister so that I can marry wow. people and officiate weddings. I know this is so probably off the wall for you going, what is she talking about? But what I want to do, I have always been planning weddings and parties and I'm the in-room parent at my daughter's school so I plan all the parties. I love it. I love this kind of creativity. So what I want to do, there are a lot of wedding shows right now and I love, I love theology. I love studying about all different kinds of religions and spirituality. I have since I was very small. Mm -hmm. So I would like to make a show where I can do wedding and event planning and actually marry people. Wow. Yeah, so I'm working on that right now. Okay. And yeah, no, so hopefully exciting. it is. And there are a lot of wedding shows right now. So I'm hoping to maybe be able to slide in and do a little uh, guest officiating and wow. marry some people. And also, too, in California, there is no more Proposition 8. So I'm so excited. You know, there's marriage equality. I can wow. I would love to be able to do some same sex um, marriages. And I think that would just be a great so much fun and a great victory to be a part of that. So. You'll slide in. Yeah, I'll, hopefully I'll slide in. I'll slide in. <laughs> Thank you. So you've been in the entertainment industry for a very long time. Do you have any advice for people who want to work in the entertainment business? You know, I, it's been over 30 plus years now and I've seen this industry change so much. Mm -hmm. I think really one word and that's perseverance. You know, I mean now there's really no rhyme or reason. Mm -hmm. There are so many different ways to get into the industry and um, there's just no traditional thing to do anymore. Now, you know, you just can't give up. Mm -hmm. you, if you have a dream, you have to persevere. You just have to keep going. And if you get knocked down 12 times, then you get up on the 13th and you go. You know, you just can't quit. Mm -hmm. Because it's that guy now. There are so many talented people and beautiful people in this world. Mm -hmm. The difference is the people that think outside the box. Honestly, it's the people that go in and do something different, mm -hmm. you know, and, and we all have unique qualities, so use them, shine. Use your own thing, don't quit, and, and be shiny. Be yourself and be shiny. Thank so. you for the advice. Thank you so much for the interview. Ah, oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Mm -hmm.